Hey everyone, HDRI lighting in V-Ray. This must be the easiest way of uh, light something, I think. As long as you have a uh, decent quality HDRI, you can't really go wrong. So I have uh, <clears throat> made a quick little scene here. Just some uh, spheres and the backdrop and um, yeah. I'll also set up a uh, physical camera. Let's go over some uh, options we have for adding an HDRI. So we have the in the environment. This uh, I suppose is the worst way of doing it. You don't really have much control of uh, subdivs and such. So you only have the control that you have in uh, the V-Ray map. So not really a good alternative. We also have in the V-Ray settings, in the environment, this would be the same thing really. The only thing is that we wouldn't see the, the HDRI in the background. I'm not going to use this. I am going to use the, the best way. The, uh, not the V-Ray physical. The V-Ray light, a dome light, okay? So you just click that out anywhere, doesn't matter. At default, it's 30. And depending on the quality of your HDRI, you, you, know, you have to tweak this. Uh, if you have a high quality HDRI, having this at 1 <coughs> will be bright enough. Uh, I will have it at 1. And I also use the exposure settings in the camera because otherwise it would be uh, totally white. What else do we have here? We can have invisible and all these uh, diffuse specular reflection, same as all the other lights, subdivs. It, it is at 8 at the beginning. I like to have this at 16. It's uh, depending on your V-Ray settings, uh, but if you are at more or less default, uh, this will actually be faster and give you a better quality. We can, uh, what else? Full Doom, so uh, right now it's just capped, not there. Well, yeah, let's see, should be that one. Yeah, it should be that. But I'm not going to use that. But if you have a, like a floating uh, object, maybe you want to have some light under under it as well. Because right now it's uh, going to be capped at um, <coughs> the grid. But that's okay for this. And uh, so let's uh, add a texture. We want to have a V-Ray HDRI. Of course, you can could use the bitmap if you wanted to, but this is V-Ray, so why not use it? Just instance this in an empty slot. We want to have spherical in the mapping. It's going to select uh, my uh, HDRI. And here's the thing. Um, an HDRI usually produces... Uh, <coughs> pretty soft shadows. Uh, of course this depends on the HDRI, but you you may get uh, soft shadows and if, if you want to simulate like a sunlight uh, instead of adding a sun as well and position this where the the sun is in your HDRI, you can actually lower the inverse gamma. This will give you your HDRI more contrast and give you a harder shadow. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's have this at one for now. And let's just do a test render and see where we are. So nothing fancy really. I'm lighting this with a, just a, it's a uh, photo, so it's not a 
studio HDRI with uh, soft boxes or anything. Yep. So as you can see, the the, the shadows they are they are actually pr somewhat hard still. But let's uh, lower the gamma. Now, when doing this, we do need to uh, adjust our exposure settings. So what do we have? We have to control um, the brightness of the image. We have the f-stop, and um, this also controls the depth of field. And if you have this higher, that means the image is going to be darker. Okay, but we also have the shutter speed, which controls the motion blur. And if you have this smaller, it's going to be brighter. And then uh, last is the ISO, which uh, me higher settings or higher value here means brighter. I'm just gonna take our shutter speed, takes this to a 300. I've already tested this before, so it should be okay. Could actually. As you can see, it's uh, a bit harder shadows here. It's just for fun. Turn this to seven. See how if it's too bright. Yeah, it's too bright. So we need to like crank up this to 400 maybe. Uh, it's probably too bright, but we could just change the, no, it's too bright. But yeah, you don't want to, you don't want to go too low on the inverse gamma. Uh, you don't want to overdo it. Uh, and then also, depending on the quality of the, <clears throat> of the HDRI you have, you might not, I mean, it could produce uh, some bad lighting if you have a, low quality HRI, so keep that in mind. So that's pretty much it for the <coughs> HRI lighting. It's not, <coughs> not really much to say about it. It's uh, very simple. Uh, you can't go wrong with it. It's very hard to go wrong. Always nice. Of course we can uh, if you want to, uh, you could uh, change the horizontal rotation. For this, I would not go with the vertical because it's uh, capped. It's just um, a half dome. So, but we could, you know, change this and get a get the sun in another direction. And of course, it's uh, too bright. But still, yes, that's. Pretty much it. Let's do a just a last render, and uh, then call it a day. <clears throat> so hopefully you find this uh, useful if you uh, are just beginning, and don't mind. Uh, no, it's actually not too bright, but it's not really uh, even. So don't. Don't take that image too serious, okay? Yeah, that's uh, that's about it. So uh, see you next time. Bye.